Hi everyone, today I am heading to the Mason's Arms in Branscombe. Uh, the Mason's Arms is a bit of a destination pub in what I could only call uh, the land at time forgot village in Branscombe. Um, there's a reason why I'm coming to the Mason's Arms for fish and chips. Uh, because it's supposed to be the best fish and chips in Devon. That's one of the reasons. There are a few other reasons as well, which I'm going to get into. And if you'd like to know what those other reasons are, keep watching. So without going too much into uh, Branscombe, because I've actually done another video about Branscombe uh, for other reasons, which I'll leave a link up there or in the link below. Um, but basically, Branscombe is a small little village in South Devon, uh, famous for the Napoli sank here, which is a big cargo ship and a lot of people ran down the beach and helped themselves to motorbikes and all kinds of things. It's also the, um, the longest village in England, apparently. Branscombe, you know, I didn't even know this place existed. There's a certain reason why I'm here, which I'll explain in my next video. But yeah, Branscombe is not the sort of place that you'd actually um, know about unless someone told you or, you know, you had a specific reason to come here. But it's a lovely little village. And uh, today I'm having fish and chips in the Mason's Arms. Uh, I've heard a lot about fish and chips here. And there's actually a reason why I'm having fish and chips in the Mason's Arms which I'll get into at a further stage. Oh, hi, Eddie. How are you doing? Lovely jubbly. Yeah, just chuck it down there anywhere. No problem. Smashing. Great. Thank you very much. So, fish and chips in the Mason's Arms in Branscombe. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to catch up on it. I'm sorry about that. But it's just the way it is. There you have it, there's my fish and chips. Look at that. Amazing. Fish and chips in the Mason's Arms in Branscombe. Now, reasons why I rant about this fish and chips. Two reasons. One reason is because, one of the many reasons is because it's actually not cod. It's hake, and hake is pretty rare to find because not a lot of people use hake. But actually, it is an amazing piece of fish. And look at that, just full of flesh, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, fantastic bit of fish. Hardly anyone ever uses it, but amazing bit of fish. And the other thing we got here is mushy peas. Now, mushy peas to you and me are, you know, that tin thing, uh, luminous sort of green colour, which is traditional. But what they do these days is they crush up garden peas and call them mushy peas. I've seen it done in a lot of places, but this place actually get it right. It's actually, you know, it's, it's, it's crushed up peas, but it's mushy peas and it's the way it is. It's, but these guys get it absolutely right and proof of the pudding is in the tasting. Now I'm not getting paid to promote this or anything like that but I'll say it how it is and I'll tell you what you ever want a good bit of fish and chips this is well worth visiting the mason's arms in Branscombe. this piece of fish i've done this video specifically for this fish because it is absolutely amazing it's the best probably one of the best fish and chips i've i'm putting my neck on the block here but one of the best i've ever tried tartar sauce mushy peas mm. 
this batter is actually gluten-free batter. And to be able to get a gluten-free batter that crispy is unbelievable. And it stays crispy as well. It doesn't go all soggy. Mushy peas. Again, crushed garden peas mixed with mint sauce. Blended up. Absolutely amazing. Chips. Okay. They're not real potatoes, but they're pretty damn close. And you know what? Crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. It's just how I like it. So delicious, really, really good. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. Thank you very much. Compliments to the chef, please. It was uh, thoroughly enjoyable. Can I pay my bill, please? Thank you very much. All good? Thanks very much. Cheers. Well, there you have it. Cod and uh, fish and chips, hape and chips in um, the Mason's Arms in Branscombe. Lovely wet rainy day, typical, just because I decide I'm going to make a video. But you know what? There's some things in life we can't control and the weather is one of them. So anyway, basically, I've just had fish and chips in the Mason's Arms in Branscombe. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Highly recommend this place. Uh, as I say, I do videos on stuff I think is really good and I think you should see. So yeah, definitely worth a visit. Uh, Chef Travels, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.